You guys, this thing just arrived. This is very, very interesting. Uh, from the moment I opened the box, I had no idea what it was. As soon as I saw, I knew I had to film this. This is a bootleg. This is... I don't really know what this is. I saw Shazam, it looked cool. The Mezco Shazam is super expensive, so I ordered this bad boy, and that looks amazing. I am really excited about this, and I really hope I am not gonna be let down. This is gonna be something for us all to learn from together. It says Legend Creation on the box. It looks pretty legit so far. And we'll have to see just how good it is. So I am gonna open this bad boy with you guys together. We're gonna take a look and see just exactly what it is that I bought. I tried looking it up online. Nobody could tell me a darn thing about bootlegs. And if this was at least somewhat cool enough to put on my shelf or if it totally sucks, I have no idea. Uh, there we go. Oh, this way. Okay. The reveal. Let's see. Wow. Wow. He actually looks really good. I'm very surprised. He looks really good. All things considered. I don't see Mr. Mind. That sucks. Especially because he was in the picture. I also don't see Shazam's cape. Uh, I'm going to get this guy out of the packaging and take a closer look. So I got Shazam out of the box. And surprisingly, he actually looks pretty good. All things considered, this is a bootleg that I only paid 30 bucks for. Maybe I should stop saying bootleg. I don't know if it makes people's ears bleed or what. But this guy... He looks awesome. Granted, he's supposed to have four, um, four ribbons there instead of three. But, you know, I'll take that. He looks really good. Especially his face sculpt. Now, I have the real Mezco Black Adam and a real Mezco Batman. I'll show those in a minute to compare so you can kind of see what you're in for. But, you know, for 30 bucks, that's really, really good. So his cape was hiding. It was uh, hidden in the packaging in the very bottom, folded up, kind of like a towel. Um, but, you know, I'm glad he came with it. The only thing he didn't come with is Mr. Mind. So maybe I'll hit up the seller and see if they can give me one. If they make a bootleg one, I don't know. Um, really, the only thing that you notice here is that there's some bunching up here where his joints are. Um, I mean, the joints all move fluidly. But you can tell, like here at the knees, it just doesn't fit him too well. And then the seam here for his pants uh, is lower than it should be for the belt. And you would think that you could just move the belt. Uh, and you kind of can a little bit. But uh, it is uh, sewn or maybe glued on here at this side. So it's a little tough to do. And then his lightning bolt. Uh, I've seen some that are really bad. This, all things considered, isn't too bad. It should be up just a little bit higher uh, and then a little bit straighter instead of like this. It should be like that. Um, but, I mean, even that isn't too bad, honestly. I think maybe I just lucked out and I got a really good-looking one. So, for Shazam's articulation, his head moves side to side. Kind of difficult, but it does move. His arms come out. They go forward. They go back. They feel a little bit funny. Maybe like there's a rubber band hinge in there. I'm not sure. Kind of like those old Mego figures. His arm bends about that far. Um, his wrist moves. It twists. Which is pretty good. Does he have an ab crunch? I don't know. Yes, he has an ab crunch. Does he have a waist swivel? Nope, I think that's just the ab crunch. And then his legs, they come out. They go forward just a little bit. They don't really go back too much. I don't really want to mess with this. It's a good looking bootleg. I don't know if it's meant to function like one too. Um, his knee bends about that far. Comes forward. 
And his ankles, this one is a little bit loose. Uh, his ankles do move. They do have that little rocker pivot, which is pretty cool. And he's got another movement here uh, above the ankle. So that's pretty good. Nice boot cut. So all in all, it's a pretty good looking Shazam. I got to say, I really do like this guy a lot. Taking a look at his cape. Um, the material that they used for the gold, I can tell it's kind of a cheap material. Uh, it was frayed here. I cut it a little bit to make it look better. Um, again, there should be four of these ribbons. There's only three. Um, but still, it's not too bad. You can see the button here looks pretty nice. Looks like Shazam took a fall. He did. His ankles aren't too good, you guys. So let's see here. This button does look pretty good. There's another button on the other side. Also looks pretty good. His hood or cape, um, the collar part, looks like it could be big enough to be a hood. So the cape isn't the best. It does have the bendy wire in it, so that's pretty nice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not a horrible cape. It's a pretty good cape. Not a perfect one. But it does do the job. If he didn't come with a cape, I'd be pretty unhappy. But that actually looks pretty good. I'm very happy with this guy. For Shazam's accessories, taking a look first at his alternate heads, they actually look pretty good. Uh, they look better than the one that's on him now. Uh, I think the only thing that the camera really picks up very well that you really can't see too well in person is where the hairline starts to get painted. Um, so you can kind of see that it, it doesn't meet right at the forehead. However, that is a lot more noticeable. Um, on the other head, you can see here the one that's on him now. You can really see that that hairline is not painted as well as it should be all the way to his forehead. It's unfortunate, but... That's really only something you're going to see on camera. Uh, when I look at him in person, he looks fine, and I don't really notice it. Taking a look at his other head, the head that yells Shazam, that also looks pretty good. Uh, the hair is painted much better here, and I got to say, I really do like this a lot. Uh, the differences with the face sculpt that you're not going to notice unless you've got a legitimate Mezco figure. These guys have much more of a flesh tone to them as opposed to just, you know, most regular action figures in their plastic. So you can really see Black Adam. He looks like a real person, whereas the Mezco Shazam just looks like an action figure. Taking a look at the rest of Shazam's accessories, he comes with some hands. He's got these ones, um, which I assume is for when he's like, Shazam! Um, which look good. He's also got the flying hands, which look pretty good as well. Fairly nice. No chipping in the hands. Nothing like that. He also comes with some Shazam lightning, which this looks exactly like the lightning that Black Adam comes with, only in blue. So it looks like it should still do its part. We're going to test all the accessories here in a minute. And then he also comes with Mr. Adam's head, which looks fantastic. This is the first, I think, interpretation of Mr. Adam, period, that we get. So I think he looks great. I really, really do like that a lot. He was definitely punched right in the face, and uh, his head came off of his robot body. So anyways, very, very fantastic looking accessories. Uh, additionally, he comes with a flight stand and a little bag. Most usually, these will come with um, the regular peg to put in there so he could just stand up. But the uh, bootleg version does not come with that. It just comes with the flight stand stick, and that's about it. But it is a pretty good-looking stand, so if you wanted to display him, you absolutely could. All right, we're going to test out Shazam's accessories and see how they do. So first, trying to put on the alternate heads. We're going to take Shazam's cape off. We're going to see just how easy or if it's really possible to pop this head off. 
There we go. So this is what the ball peg looks like underneath. And then we can put the smiling face and see how that looks. It kind of just squeezes on. This doesn't look too right just yet. I guess I got to try it with a little bit more effort. There we go. There's no pop, nothing like that. It just falls right into place. So there is Shazam's smiling face, which doesn't look too bad. And then his Shazam face. Let's see. Oh, this one's giving me a run for my money. It doesn't really want to go on. Let's see. A little bit more effort. There we go. Okay. Shazam's yelling face is on. It actually looks pretty good. I don't think I have another Shazam with a yelling face that's an action figure. Just the statue. The lightning. The lightning works. That actually looks really cool. I dig that. Very, very nice. And then Shazam's alternate hands. Do they work? Let's find out. So first, we got to pop these off. I'm going to try and be gentle. As gentle as I can. Wow, that came off incredibly easy. Let's see. Do the flight hands work? Yes. And again, there is no popping sound. Uh, it just fits right into place. And that's about it. And then let's see the other hand. Change that for a Shazam yelling hand. That's a little bit tougher, but it does work. So very cool. Shazam's accessories seem to work very nicely. So comparing Shazam to the real Mezco Black Adam and the Mezco Batman, uh, I was actually surprised. He's a lot shorter. Um, it's like substantially shorter than Black Adam. Uh, and so you can really kind of tell, uh, especially in the face uh, and in the detail. I mean, you can really see the, the flesh tone, even on Batman, even on his cowl. Um, yeah, so if you're looking for a really, really nice stand-in, um, then this Shazam will definitely work. He's everywhere. He's on eBay. He's on uh, Mercari. He's on uh, DH. He's on, I think, like all the apps, this Shazam. So if you're looking for one, he's not going to be too hard to find. Um, but, you know, it, it could be hit or miss depending on how good of a one that you get. Um, his feet look just like Black Adam's feet. Um, it looks like the costume is just made out of a material that is a lot thinner, I guess. Uh, and I think maybe the body as a whole is not sculpted or molded after the Mezco body. So maybe if you really want to make this Shazam happen and you want him to look even better if you have an extra Mezco body laying around, which I don't. But if you do, you could pop these uh, hands, head, costume, and cape onto that. They'd probably look 10 times better. So, but yeah, I mean, heck, for 30 bucks, that is a really, really good looking Shazam. I am very happy to have it. All right, you guys, so that about does it for this action figure review. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is the Legend Creation Shazam. The Mezco bootleg variant. I am very happy to have this figure. He is a phenomenal stand-in until I can get the real Mezco Shazam. If you know where I can get one or you got a lead on one, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have a real one. I missed my chance around the first time. If you know me, you know I'm a Shazam diehard, so I love having this kind of stuff in my collection. Um, let me know if you have this figure as well, if you've made any custom modifications, or if you are a legitimate Mezco collector and you've got tons of these or you've got the real Shazam, I'd also love to hear from you as well to see how this stacks up against the real one. 
Thank you guys so much. I'm over 2,000 subscribers and I really, really appreciate every single one of your likes, comments, support, share, subscription. You guys are killing it. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Brandon and thanks for watching.